A TP-Link Omada hardware controller such as OC200 and OC300 is a professional Omada SDN controller with no need to run a PC or server. It provides 100% centralized management of Omada access points, Omada switches, and Omada routers, all controlled from a single interface. Featuring hybrid cloud technology, the Omada hardware controller allows you to remotely control the whole network wherever you are in the world with cloud access, and locally managed devices with the ultimate security and stability. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the hardware controller via web browser locally and remotely. Connect the controller to the network with an Ethernet cable and power it up. For OC200, it also supports PoE power supply. Make sure that you connect the PC to the same subnet as your controller. Visit the management interface of the router or DHCP server and check the IP address of the controller. Here you can see the DHCP list of the Omada gateway, and the IP address of the controller is 192.168.0.100. Open a web browser. Type the controller's IP address in the address bar, then press enter. Wait for OC200 to start up. This may take about 5 minutes. After the startup is completed, it will jump to the controller's login page automatically. Click Let's Get Started and follow the setup wizard to complete the setup. Create a main administrator account for local login to the controller. Bind the controller to your TP-Link ID for cloud access. Access the terms of use, then click Next. Click Config New Setup. Set up the controller according to your needs. Determine whether to receive update notifications and join the user experience program. Click Next. Create a site according to your needs. Create a device account for the controller to manage devices on this site. Select your application scenario and click Next. Skip configuring devices. We will show how to adopt and manage devices in another video. Skip presetting WAN settings. We can adopt and configure the Omada gateway later. Set up the wireless network name and password for your Omada access points. You can create a network for your guests if needed. Click Next. Confirm your settings. Click Finish. Now you can log in with the main administrator account you created. After login, you will see tutorials about Omada controller features. Now you can adopt and manage Omada devices Make sure that your management device and the Omada hardware controller can access the internet. Launch a web browser and type omada.tplinkcloud.com in the address bar. Then press enter. Log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have one, sign up first. Click Add Controller and select to add the hardware controller. Make sure the controller can access the internet and its cloud LED is flashing. Enter the device key of the controller. Type in the characters, then click Next. The controller has been added to your cloud account. Click Done. Launch the management interface of the controller. Click Let's Get Started to start the setup. Create a main administrator account for local login to the controller. Accept the terms of use, then click Next. Set up the controller according to your needs. Create a site. Create a device account for the controller to manage devices on the site. Select your application scenario and click Next. Skip configuring devices. We will show how to adopt and manage devices in another video. Skip presetting WAN settings. You can adopt and configure the Omada gateway later. Set up the wireless network name and password for your Omada access points. You can create a network for your guests if needed. Click Next. 
confirm your settings. Click Finish. For more information, you can watch more tutorials about Omada controller features. Now you can adopt and manage Omada devices remotely.